All right, everybody, I'm back out here to Live Exciting again and found a first find of the day. Nice chunk of moss. Check it out. Look at this pattern. Look at this color. That's some beautiful stuff. This is why I love to go out here and hunt. It's so much fun. I just like to surface hunt. I don't dig. I don't hard rack mine. I just like to surface hunt. And this is just so much fun to find this kind of stuff, this kind of material. I love it. It's so much fun. And this was a super, super windy day. It got really windy. But anyway, that's a nice way to start off. Here's another piece of moss here. Check it out. It's got some green and some orange and a little, little mustardy color all kind of mixed in there. There's the top. Kind of interesting. Again, once you clean all this up, it'll be pretty nice. Got a nice pattern, nice color. It's a pretty cool piece. A lot of fun finding this stuff. I feel very blessed that I can find this type of material here. But anyway, it's a real fun day. Like, had a good time walking around and stuff. So here we go. We're going to find another little piece here. Squirt it off. I'm doing the voiceover. It looks like it's going slow-mo. Hopefully it won't be on the playback, but it looks like it's slow-mo in here. But that's a pretty cool moss piece right there. Look at the side pattern. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. That's a nice piece. This other piece is a... Uh, yeah, it's an eh. Yeah. So we'll, punt, we'll just chunk him back. But we're going to keep that other one. All right. Let's go walk around, see what else we can find. Just going to walk around in the desert, having a good time. See what we can find next. Let's see what we got. There we go. Here's a nice piece here. Nice moss. Check out that pattern. Pretty cool colors. Nice material. Check it out. Sweet. Y'all know I love my moss. It's pretty cool stuff. I just think it's really amazing how this stuff forms. You know, how this volcanic material forms and how it makes all these lines and makes the moss in the in the in the patterns in the rocks. It's just so cool. So here's another piece here. So this one's this is more Jasper, but it's got like white agate mixed all through it. It's kind of weird how it just looked like little little pockets of it, right? You know, so obviously it was probably air pockets in there and it filled in with agate in between the jasper to make these patterns. But it's pretty cool stuff. I like it. So here's here's what you would call, you know, well you see fire agates, this is the same same way they form. I found this stuff out before, but hey, you can see the band on the side. You'll see the algae on the top. It's interesting. They had so much moisture this year. So when the light shines through this, it's translucent, right? So when it's flipped over like that in the, in the dirt and the light shines through it and it gets wet, it actually forms algae on the rocks. So in the middle of the desert, as dry as it can be, you have algae on the rocks. Pretty, pretty interesting. Um, here's another piece of moss. Nice little chip. Got some weird patterns here on this side. Little melted weirdo, how it formed. And there you've got the lines there. Nice little chunk. It's got good colors. Again, the process is how this forms. It's pretty neat. Here's a little piece here. A little chip. So I'm heading in the right direction wherever I'm going. Hopefully we're going to find some bigger pieces as we move out. But this is definitely a little moss piece here. Again, nice, nice piece to find out here. It's a beautiful day. Not too hot. It was very windy, though. That's the only bad thing. But it was a great day. I had a good time out here hunting. You can see the wind. The bushes in the background blowing like crazy. There you go. This is abraciated. Look at that, that beautiful sunset orange color. Is that not pretty? Look at this side. It's got some other weirdo patterns in here. Check it out. Check out how that agate is like all zigzagging around the little voids. 
it's got white agate in there. You see it? There you go. That's weird. I love it. It's so cool. I mean, that's that's just a beautiful rock. I know some people don't can't don't understand how how us rock hounds how we like rocks, but it's so beautiful. Nature's just like it makes some beautiful stuff. So here's a nice piece of sea maggot. So you can see it's got good moss lines in there. But that's the top of the agate there. And there's the bottom. And you can see that's where it was in the host rock. And it just, the host rock had rode it away. That's, this piece was left. It was harder than the host rock, right? But it's a beautiful piece of seam. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really nice. It's got great moss in there, great lines in there. Just formed in between a, you know, hole in the rocks. A little seam in the rocks. It's pretty cool. Anyway, all right, here's a piece right here. Check it out. That's as we find it sitting there. We'll spray it down. We'll pick it up. Let's take a look see and see what we got. Okay, so this is an interesting one. So it's not moss, not it's semi braciated, but it's definitely it's translucent. So it's not carnelian, but it's definitely translucent. And we'll show a little bit. I'll get it up a little bit to the sun so you can see how it's trans. It's got translucency in it. So it's definitely like calcedony, translucent calcedony. But anyway, the colors are really cool on that one. So here's a nice little piece here. It's got a little moss there. It's got agate running through it. Interesting little chip. Decent color. Not too bad. Not quite the quality I keep, though, so uh, we, we catch and release that last one. Uh, here's a piece of just as braciated for sure, but this is when it's rough. So it's not smooth. It hasn't really weathered a whole lot, so it's not smooth at all. It's definitely rough. Um, again, when you polish it all down and get it smooth, it's going to have patterns in it. But check out that yellow, those yellows, like that circle there on the left-hand side, that little yellow circle there, like an eye. That's so cool. I, I like that. So here's another piece of uh, agate, and you can see all the lines on the top where it was in the host rock. You can see the white in there, and then see it's got some algae on the back. Again, when that sun shines through these translucent rocks, when you get moisture, it'll grow algae on the, on the side. So, again, this is in the desert where it's super dry. It's got algae. How about that? It's interesting. Nature just always seems to find a way. Just put some moisture in there, it'll grow. So here's one. It's got uh, it's a piece of calcedony with all the bots in it. I guess we could call it agate. It's got some kind of bandings there, but... Um, it's all silica, right? Chalcedony and agate, it's all made out of silica. It's, it's microcrystalline quartz. It's a silica, um, silica dioxide. So, but check it out. Cool pattern, cool rock. So here's another piece here. Look, it's got moss right there. A little bit more tightly packed moss, but it's got some green, it's brown, a little red. Again, nice little piece of moss found. Just surface hunting around. Pretty cool. All right. You see my shirt blowing in the wind. Put a little more water on it because it's drying out so fast with this wind today. Wasn't super hot, but it was uh, super windy. But it got some cool stuff there. It's a nice little piece. We're going to find your big brother, I hope. All right. This next one here is another piece of Cal Sydney. It's got a, definitely has a, no, it's agate. There you go. It's got bands. So we'll call it agate. So here we go. That's a quartz pocket in the middle there. We'll try to get some better pictures of that. We still got the big chunk of dirt there. It's like baked on like super glue. Uh, you know, sometimes the dirt out there in the desert just sticks on the rocks and glues onto them. It's hard to get off. But there you can see some of the quartz crystals, little small quartz crystals in that pocket there. So it's a little quartz crystal pocket. And then agate. It's not a geode. I wouldn't call it a geode. I guess maybe it could kind of be, but anyway, pretty cool. Nice little find. So here's a piece here. This one's definitely there. You go. Look at that red, that red jasper. It's translucent. It's almost like 
carnelian, like a red carnelian, because it's so translucent, it's got so much silica in it. But look, it's just like melted wax. Like, you know, you could definitely tell that it the hot solution that formed this was like a melted wax. It's a pretty cool piece, though. So anyway, thank you all for watching this one. We're going to end it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next one.